on Jesus, praise God. Keep it on the things of Him. Come You're on. going to get peace and life, amen to God. Amen. And I didn't say that to pick on her. I'm just saying because, praise God, I know how the devil torments your mind. Come on. One preacher said the mind is the devil's playground. Yeah. If you ever let him in up here, he's got you. Come on. That's why you got to keep your mind stayed on Jesus. Amen. You got to keep the helmet of salvation on. Amen. God, keep the word in your mind. Praise God. Come on. Hallelujah. Now go to That's verse true. thirteen in Romans eight. Hallelujah. Is this all right? Is this good? Good word tonight. Good preaching. Amen to God. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if you live through the spirit, but if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. Amen to God. Amen. Live after the spirit. Let the Holy Ghost lead you. Amen to God. Each and every day. Number three, it's easy to lose self-control. Hallelujah. When you take your mind off Jesus, it's easy to lose self-control. Easy to get drawn away. Hallelujah. Because lust in the heart and mind is sin. And then it leads to actual acts of sin. See, it starts there. See, with David, it started by looking. And when he looked, then it said, well, what was that when, 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 when uh, I can't even think of it. Hallelujah. Somebody knows that verse. It said, when, when, when it's conceived, amen to God, and drawn away. I sin when we're drawn away of our own lust. That's right. When we sin, we're drawn away of our own lust. Yeah. David, hallelujah, when he seen that, he got... In sin, he was drawn away, and then he wanted to do the physical act. Yeah. See, when it starts up here, it leads to the physical. Come on. Now, let me say this: Tem being tempted is not a sin. Jesus was tempted in the desert forty days and forty nights. It don't mean he was a sinner. Being tempted is not the sin. It's when you give in to the temptation. Amen. How God has made, amen to God, a way of escape when you're tempted. God will not let you be tempted no more. You can handle, amen to God. Come on. Let me say that again. Hallelujah. God will not let temptation come upon you no more than you can handle. Amen. 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 James chapter 1, verse 13 through 15. Let no man say when he's tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted, or Brother Billy said, when he's drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Yeah. Then when lust hath conceived, it bring forth sin, and sin when it's finished, bring forth death. Yeah. I think it's in Romans as well. It says, for the wages of sin Amen. is death. Amen. Amen to God. You say, Brother Mike, I don't need to hear this. I'm saved. Yeah, but praise God, we're still walking, amen, to God after Jesus each day. And you can be easily drawn away when you get your mind <coughs> off Him. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I know this ain't popular, praise God. But hallelujah, it's the truth. Hallelujah. So it's easy to lose self-control if you get your mind off Jesus. Amen. Amen. Number four. It's easy to look for a cover-up. See, we want to make excuses for our sin. Hallelujah. Come on. David was doing this. Yeah. He had to cover his mess up. How many has ever been in a mess and tried to cover it up? Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, I have. Come on. And all you end up doing is snowball effect. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger and eventually Amen. you can't control the thing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And then you might as well if you just been honest about it and just let it out and told the Lord, praise God. He knows anyway, praise Amen. God. David tried to cover this sin up. Yeah. He tried to make it look like Uriah got his wife pregnant Come on. instead of David. Yeah. So that's why when he had Uriah killed, Praise God, then he could get with Bathsheba. Because he was dead. Yeah. He wouldn't get caught underneath that law to where if he was messing around, Come on. he would be considered an adulterer. But he yeah. was an adulterer. Amen. God Amen. knew it. Amen. I like it later on. Who, who was it? I forget. I forget the prophet. Nathan. Nathan. Nathan the prophet that came and, and the story was told, Amen to God. And David, he was going after he said, We got to get this man for what he did. But I love what Nathan said to him. He said, who is the man? Nathan yeah. said, thou yeah. art the man. Thou yeah. art the man, David. Thou art the man! Come on. You are the man. Yeah. We need prophets of God to stand up and tell people, you are the man yeah. that committed the sin. You need to repent and get right with Amen. Jesus. You need to turn back to the Lord. Hallelujah. Come you on. are guilty of sin. Yeah. But preachers today, sad enough to say, they won't even call sin out in the church. 
Amen. There was a church up around Hopkinsville. The pastor is a homosexual. And I'm not saying this to be judgmental or mean. But he lets every little thing go on. He is a good preacher for not calling nothing out. Yeah. Being gay is okay. Well, God's not going to send a man to hell that loves somebody. Because God is love. That's what they use. That's what they say. Yeah. All kinds of wickedness going on in that church there. And I don't understand it. I don't understand how he can call himself a man of God and preach the word when he's living in sin. Come on. Don't call the sin out. Preachers are afraid to say anything. I know a preacher that knows a man. He said, well, I don't want to get in his business. It ain't my business. Yeah. It is your business if you're a man of God. Come on. And what I mean by that is it's your place to go and tell him. Go and talk with him. Listen, man, thou art the man. Come on. You're in sin. You need to repent. You don't have to make a public spectacle out of it. You can go and talk to him in private. We need, praise God, preachers to stand up today and quit worrying about what people's going to think of them. We Amen. need to quit covering up sin so we look good. Come on. I tell you one thing. I would rather be a pastor of a church and only have two or three people in there Come that's on. living for Jesus than have a church of thousands and their sin in the camp. Come on. What happened, hallelujah, when sin was in the camp? When Joshua and them was fighting the battle, they would lose. The Lord said there's sin in the camp. When Achan partook of the accursed thing and hid it in his tent, Come on. there was sin in the camp. Amen. Until that was gotten out of the camp, Mom, they wasn't going to be no victorious. Way. I truly believe today if the sin would get out of the church, Come on. there is sin that's keeping local bodies in bondage and won't get set free. That's why I believe some of these people can't get healed. That's why I believe some of these people can't be delivered from these things. Come on. Because there's sin in the camp. And the preacher needs to stand up and call it out. Hallelujah. Preachers today that don't do that will stand before God with blood on their hands. Amen. Read it in Ezekiel if you don't believe me. They will give an account for those souls. It's so easy. It's so easy to get caught up in these things. But yet, we make it so hard to live for the Lord. And it's not. It's, it's so much easier to live for Him Amen. than it is to go away from Him. Mm -mm -mm. Number five, it's so easy to let sin multiply. How many knows that sin, if you do one, it takes another? It's like if you tell a lie. One lie to cover another, to cover another, to cover another. Come on. Amen? Amen. Sin multiplies. Look at David here. He had the adultery. Yeah. Then multiple murders. Yeah. It just kept going. Amen. It kept going. Sin is not the way to go. The way to go is to follow in the way of Jesus. Come on. He says, I am the way. The truth and the life. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all got you excited right there. Come on. Sin is like an evil tree. It never stops growing, bearing its evil fruits. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. See, we're called to be fruit producers. We're called to bear good, godly fruit. I'm talking about the fruit of the Spirit. Love, amen. joy, peace, long-suffering, patience, kindness, meekness, and so forth. We're called to be producing good fruit. Not evil fruit. That evil fruit, hallelujah, is the sin. Gossip, adultery, backbiting, lying, etc. Yeah. It never stops growing. Look at how sin has corrupted society. It makes people just miserable, individuals, couples. It breaks families up. And it started with one sin. Yeah. Look at what one man's sin did to an entire human race. Come on. Amen. Amen. 
But look at what one man's sacrifice did for that, amen, to God, entire race. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, when you sin, it reaps consequences. Amen. See, I think about me, Brother Billy. What I did four years ago, yeah. what I did was sin. It was wrong. Do I reap the consequences for it? Yes, I do to this day. Yeah. Do I believe God has forgiven me? Yes, I do. I know Amen. He has. Yeah. But sometimes, though, the choices we make yeah. will bring negative consequences. Amen. I'm still trying to see my son. I believe God will work it out. But it's been a long battle. Amen. It really has been. In my physical, I'm not 100% yet. But I'm better than I was. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody said, well, you just don't have enough faith in God to make you whole. No, oh. praise God. There's consequences for the things we do. Amen. Hallelujah. I liked, I heard a preacher on the radio here a while back. He said a man come up in the service and gave his life to the Lord. And uh, he said the man had the HIV virus. Yeah. And and he said he did, it wasn't none of his business, but the man said I was involved in some things I shouldn't have been doing in the flesh. He said, that's how I contracted it. Yeah. But he said he believed with his whole heart that God had forgiven him of his sins. Yeah. And he still believes that the Lord can heal him of that, of that HIV. Amen. See, sometimes those consequences, though, it actually makes us stronger in the Lord. Come on. Because it makes us rely on Him. It's made me, I tell you, this, this arm and leg being stiff all the time, limited me to doing things physically that I used to do. It's really made me depend on God more, Mom. Amen. Not having Logan like I used to has really made me have to cry out for Jesus, Brother Billy. Come on, amen. The Lord's had to feel that, hallelujah, loneliness. Amen. All those nights I cried my eyes out. Yeah. Saying, Lord, why can't I sing? Come on. But the more I cried and clung to Jesus, the better it got. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God will take care of us. Yes, He will. Hallelujah. But there is consequences for our sins. It's like a deadly epidemic. Sin is spread by its first victim to others unless quickly put to an end. Amen. Amen. Like a disease. If you put an end to that disease, it stops. And when you put an end to it is when you give your life to Christ. When you let Jesus have His way. Amen? Amen. We're almost done, praise God. Can you believe that? Come on. And this is a good word, hallelujah. Boy, I feel it in my soul. Amen. I think this is a good word. Amen. That's okay. Tyler is a good word. Amen. Amen. Number six. It's easy to live a lie before men. David pretended to be living right. Pretended to be living godly. Yes, he did. See, we can put on a show for people. We can put a facade on. Yeah. Amen? Amen. We can walk around and we put the appearance on that everything's all right, I'm all right, but inside, though, we're lying. Come on. We're living in sin. Yeah. You can fool everybody, but you can't fool the Lord. Amen? Amen. I'll let me say it again. You can fool people and everybody, but you can't fool God. Amen? It's easy to play the role of the hypocrite, yeah. but we're just deceiving ourselves. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles 16, 9. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout this whole earth to show Himself strong on the behalf of those whose heart is perfect towards Him. Hallelujah. And we'll stop there. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro. Amen. And they see everything that goes on. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So it's time, praise God, we stop living a life before men and start living a life of holiness before the Lord. Amen? Amen. Number seven, this is the last one. It's easy to lack a godly conscience. Verse 27 in this 